Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see how the person that is on your mind when it comes to love truly feels about you currently. This reading is for every one of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. Alright, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for this person's true feelings for you currently, we have casual sex, love offer, we also have the devil card, and we have the ten of pentacles here. All right, so when it comes to this person's true feelings for you, they're obsessing. Someone is pissed or jealous because they feel as though you have started to engage with the friends with benefits now it doesn't make that true but that's how this person is thinking they do want to come in with a love offer they want to offer you a commitment okay but i feel as though this person there's something about them wanting control over you i feel like they view you as a possession instead of um like a human being being your own person capable of making your own choices Someone wants to break your willpower. That's what I'm getting here. I don't I don't really like it. Um it's coming off as someone that's infatuated because like I said, for some reason this person they view you as belonging to them. So the thought of you having intimate encounters with another person even if it's not true it drives this person crazy. It drives them wild. But someone wants control. Also, when this person comes in with this love offer, they're going to want an intimate encounter with you. And during that intimate encounter, this person, I feel like they're going to try and get you addicted to them sexually. They may even come off as very controlling during that sexual encounter if you were to choose to follow through with it, okay? But there's something really dark and heavy about this person's energy when it comes to you. Like, I feel like they're trying their best to control themselves, to contain their emotions, but this person... They're fearful of you dealing with other people. That's all it is to it. See, look, at the bottom of the deck, we have sex. And right next to it is the other. So this person feels as though you're having sex with another person. And they feel that way because in their mind, they feel as though you are detaching from them or you're coming off as detached. But see, a lot of you have just been practicing self-love. You're putting yourself first. A lot of you are no longer making this person a priority in your life. You're making yourself a priority and your happiness. So this person, instead of viewing how you're coming off as, okay, well, Mystic Goddess's viewer is putting himself or herself first. They're not viewing it that way. They're saying, okay, well, since you're coming off as detached, since you come off a little more cold or since you're not giving me your full attention, you must be dealing with someone else. There has to be someone else in the mix. And I feel as though they may feel that way because whenever they're dealing with someone else, they come off as cold or detached, okay? So yeah, there's a lot here, a lot here. But when it comes to this person, they're optimistic in regards to this connection. They feel as though at some point in time, the two of you will come back together and reconcile. Or if the two of you are dealing with each other currently, they are trying to be optimistic that everything will work out. See, someone is wanting to build on the bond that the two of you have. For some of you, this person is worried that you may have reconciled with an ex or that you may be meeting up with someone at night for some reason. There's also fear regarding an ending, an ending of a cycle or you beginning a new cycle with another person. And it's mainly because you no longer come off as focused on this person. That's how they view it. See, they think that you're detached, like you're coming off cold. But see, a lot of you are just more logical, okay? And I feel like this person is used to you acting 
out in an emotional way or you responding out of emotion. But as of now, if you choose to respond to this person, it's going to be out of logic. See, they think that you have other people dating you. Or that there are other people that are wanting to date you. And you guys are coming off like your energy is very light. It's also coming off as very um, enticing to people. So you're going to notice that a lot of people are drawn in toward you. Or a lot of people are showing interest. It could even be people paying you a lot of attention when you go out. Even if it's just a run to the grocery store, okay? But yeah, someone definitely has some things that they want to say to you. This person wants to strengthen the bond between the two of you using words. Also, I keep seeing this in the readings. There's going to be an announcement of a pregnancy. I don't know if this is you, this person, or someone that you know, or someone that they know, but you're going to hear about a pregnancy. See, again, they think that things are either completely over between the two of you or that you will end up ending things. And that's this person's worst fear because they are wanting to work things out with you. It actually puts them in their feelings. Also, they get in their feelings in regards to certain decisions that they made because I feel like this person would do things out of spite or out of feeling emotional. And what I mean by that, like, for example, if the two of you were to get into an argument or get into a fight, or if for some reason, if this person was thinking that you were dealing with someone else, they would make decisions that were not of the highest good of the connection, all because they were in their feelings. Hmm. But they are in love with you. Someone's deeply in love with you. But the way that they act at times, you wouldn't even think that they were. But they are. I feel like they, they just don't know how to show it. Hmm. But yeah, someone wants to make peace or they want to heal things. And I feel as though a lot of you, whenever you detach from this person, I feel like you're more at peace. So the more distance you put between yourself and this connection or yourself and this person, I feel like you feel more at peace. You guys are not overextending here. And if you have been overextending, I see you, I see that you're going to stop doing that. But someone just thinks that they know it all. Like they think they know you like the back of their hand. And the problem with that is you're not the same person that you used to be. You've grown a lot. Wow. So yeah, this is someone that is feeling some type of way because they think that you have met someone else. That's all it is to it. So let's see what else comes out. And I really feel like this person is worried because they think you're dealing with the friends with benefits and they think or they at least think that you're having a sexual connection with someone and their worst fear is you falling in love with that person. OK, and building the life with that person that you were trying to build with them. That's this person's fear. Hmm. For some of you, they think you're actually in a completely new relationship with someone else or you've gone back to someone from your past and that you're going to end up falling in love with that person or that you are in love with them. And for others of you, they think that you're at least dealing with someone else sexually. That's what they think. And it drives them crazy. Give me more messages, please. Holy Spirit, when it comes to this person, what is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love? What is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. Right, so let's see what else comes out. So at the bottom of the deck, we have friendship. All right, so this card reads, can we be friends and build from there? So this is my card that comes out when someone wants to build on a bond. Now, for some of you, this person may come toward you with the energy of, well, if we can't be together, can we at least just be cordial? Can we at least be friends? For others of you, like I told you in the overall energy, this person wants to build on the connection. They want to build on the bond with you and they feel under pressure to do so because they think that there's someone else. See, three's a crowd right beside it. 
they're under pressure because they feel like they have competition give me another card what is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love thank you change see they feel as though you've changed <laughs> and for a lot of you they feel as though you you are sacrificing this connection but yeah, they feel as though you have changed. And a lot of you have. You're not the same person that you were when you initially met this person. Hmm. They may also feel as though the feelings that you um, had for them has changed. It doesn't make it true. But they just feel as though there's something different about you. Give me more. What is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently? Thank you. Again, three's a crowd. At the bottom of the deck, we have forgiveness. So for some of you, with this three is a crowd card, for some, this person could already be in another connection or they could be dealing with someone else, but they still want you to be there. Now, for others of you, I'm telling you, this person thinks that you are dealing with someone else. The two of you are going to end up falling in love. And I honestly feel as though this person would still want to deal with you. Now, if they did get into a relationship with another person or if they put you in a third party situation, they do want you to forgive them for that. But I'm telling you, someone feels as though they are getting a taste of their own medicine. And some of you aren't even trying to make this person feel that way. It's just how they feel because they know the dirt that they've done. So they think that, how can I put it? They think that you are mirroring them. Like what goes around comes around type of energy. But a lot of you aren't even on that. Like you're just focusing on self-love. Give me one more card to end this reading. What is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love? What is Thank you. So we have deception and we have awakened love here. At the bottom of the deck, we have new perspective. See, I'm telling you, they think that someone else has awakened the love within you. Also, for some of you, this person's going to come toward you with deception. They may lie about some things. Also, this deception can be this person not having genuine intentions when it comes to you. And those dishonest intentions can be something as simple as them wanting to be with you, but at the same time wanting you to be um, addicted to them or wanting to bind you to them, wanting to possess you, wanting to control you. Okay, their, their intentions are not pure when it comes to you they may even want you to think that they've changed they want you to see them in a different light they're hoping that if they can pretend to be someone that they're not or if they can make it seem as though they are different that it'll awaken the love that you once had for them and some of you still love this person okay but i just feel as though you're a lot more careful when it comes to them See, look at this. Unrequited love is right beside it. Next, the fatal event. And this fatal event card is about like someone putting the nail in the coffin. Like this person did something that they feel changed your perspective of them, but it also changed the way that you feel about them. Like you don't feel the same way that you used to anymore with that unrequited card being there. See, for some of you, they want you to think that they can change, that things will be different. But a lot of you may not feel that this person can truly change because they've done too much. This connection just isn't the way that it used to be. That's all it is to it. Someone did entirely too much, entirely too much. But they're going to use deception to awaken the love within you. And I feel like it's going to have to do with lies because this card reads, I lie to you because I'm afraid of the choices that you will make. So for a lot of you, this person is going to lie to you. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. Oh, no, it's not. It's not like that. You misunderstood me. I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not doing the same things that I, were, I was doing in the past. I've grown. I'm not like that anymore when they're lying. Wow. All right. So that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. 
I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.